Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D. All right, so you've been busy all day getting us ready for the possibilities of what's to come mm -hmm. starting tomorrow, a break from what we've been experiencing over the past three days. Uh, yeah, pretty big break coming between uh, 2 and 7 o'clock, yeah. which is right when a lot of kids are getting out of school, walking home from school. I know a lot of kids have phones. If they're allowed to take them to school, it's a good idea to maybe download that forewarned weather app so they can track if they walk home from school where those storms are. And, and for the little ones, obviously, plans might need to be made if we've got severe weather in the area, which we could, again, and right during that window. 57 in Detroit, upper 50s in Howell, 51 in Lapeer, and 56 in Monroe. So we have a few showers overnight tonight, but the stronger storms come tomorrow afternoon and during the evening hours. They'll move in and move out very quickly, though. And then a little more rain for Friday morning, but just garden variety showers, nothing to worry about. 48 in Sandusky and Port Huron, 50s in Lapeer, Mount Clemens, Pontiac, 57 downtown, 56 in Grosseal and Monroe, and 59 out in Ann Arbor. There was quite a bit of heat today to work with, and we've got a strong area of low pressure that has brought several severe storms to parts of the Midwest and also as many as 20 tornadoes. So we know that this area of low pressure is capable of producing supercells that are rotating. There's there's more heat to the south, though, so we don't have as much heat to work with, but we have a warm front that'll be lifting northward, getting us into the upper 60s, possibly even into the low 70s. 77 in Columbus. It was 83 in Columbus this afternoon, 20 degrees above average. 74 in Indianapolis and 72 in St. Louis. So you can really see that curve there. It's a deep area of low pressure that's going to be uh, moving towards Metro Detroit over the next um, 12 hours. We'll have out ahead of it the warm front. We get some showers. And then when the cold front comes through tomorrow, it's going to produce some pretty strong thunderstorms. But right now we're watching storms out to the west of Milwaukee. You can see that line coming together very nicely. Uh, those storms, again, will stay to the west of us. We're just going to get some scattered showers between midnight and 8 a.m. So maybe during the morning, the early part of the morning commute, there'll be some showers. But after around 7, 8 o'clock, we'll start to dry out. Then we get some sunshine. And the more sunshine we get, the more unstable it will become and the stronger the storms. But at this point, we have moved up the timing by one hour. It was three to seven, now moving it up two to seven. The two o'clock would be on the west side. East side, you'll have a little bit longer. Severe weather risk continues to be slight across all of southeast lower Michigan. Anywhere you see in green is a level one. The yellow is a level two, so it extends all the way down into parts of central Ohio. So Toledo, Columbus, Dayton, all included. And then all of southeast lower Michigan. And now up into the thumb under a marginal risk. That's a level one for severe weather. So we've got showers and storms through the morning commute. Any thunderstorms we get, again, would not be severe. Sunshine through the midday hours before this comes through. So there's 2 o'clock, and those are some pretty strong storms that will move through Metro Detroit. And then we'll have partly cloudy skies by about 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Again, the severe weather threats, wind, hail, and also the possibility of an isolated tornado. If you're headed to the Rangers-Tigers game, make sure you have that forewarned weather app handy. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s, but it's the storms that could come in during at least the later part of the game. 53 tonight with a few scattered showers. Then for the day tomorrow, up to 70 degrees with that morning rain, a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. So we have declared tomorrow a forewarned weather alert. That means the weather will be impactful and you need to make some plans for it between about 2 and 7 o'clock. Slight chance of a shower Thursday night and Friday. Not too concerned about that. Yeah. Weekend looks nice.